everyone. This is Up North Collectors here. We're opening up the brand new 2019 Tops Series 2 baseball. This is a jumbo box. We actually have a jumbo case. So we have six jumbo boxes that we'll be opening up. Each come with these two exclusive, well, I guess they're called silver packs, but these look more like they're blue. Uh, but these have been coming out the last couple, well, three years, I think, yeah. uh, with a hobby and jumbo out of series one, two, and update. So we'll open those up, but there's, uh, what, 10, no, 12 ten, pack, no, ten packs. 10 packs. They have, what, 45 cards now? 48 each, cards. Or 48, it's yeah, a they weird used number. 48, I'm not sure. 45. 46. Oh, 46. We both are wrong. I was going to say, it's not a, it's not like a roundish number. No, it's not. And they used to have 50. Uh, there are two hits in each jumbo box, uh, two relics, one autograph. And there's a, this is a 350 card base set with, um, you know, the key rookies, Eloy Jimenez, um, uh, Tatis Jr., Pete Alonzo, and of course Vlad Guerrero Jr. has a short print in this. And the Longoria. We'll go pretty slow through the first pack just so you get an idea, and then we'll kind of speed up so it's not a 30 minute video. David Fletcher. Yeah, we'll Saturday's try to show cards. you most of the cards, but. Yeah, but we're not going to. That's go. cool. I like that San Diego Padres. Yeah, Petco, Petco Park. Park. Yeah. I feel like they haven't. That's a cool card, too. Yeah. Look how high the Panda? Sandoval is. Man, I didn't know that guy could jump that high. It's impressive. Okay, there we go. A Gary V's. One of the interesting inserts. Uh, if you don't know anything about Gary V, he's an entrepreneur himself. Uh, made multi millions of dollars and uh, is big into baseball cards. He started off by collecting baseball cards. Really? Yep. Uh, Yelich. Home run challenge. Yeah, when he was in high school, he did all kinds of. Um, oh, there's our auto. There's our auto first pack. Fernando Romero auto. So on card 1984 auto. So I've seen is this stuff is a lot better this year than it was in even like series one. Um, but you do get two or three of just these kind of autos a case, whereas before you got like five or six. That's pretty cool. Hiduki Matsui All Star 84. And back to the base. Yeah, anyways, going back to Gary V. He that's how he started out in high school. He he sold baseball cards, went to baseball card shows. He was a uh, uh, that's what he that's what he did. What do he make all his money off of? Uh, I think he invested early on in um, uh, Facebook and mm. um, Twitter. I think, and that's some of the way he made That'll his do money. That'll do it. But. Oh, and he also made. He also uh, his dad had a liquor store, and he started selling wine online, and that's really how he got. Uh, That'll do it too. Yeah, got it going. Another Jeffrey Springs rookie. Yeah, that's weird. Doubles already. Lance, Kata, Ross, Fletcher. Now Edwards. we we pre-ordered this box, like that. and we got it today on release day, uh, Wednesday, and. Uh, we ordered it from Steel City, so thanks to Steel City Collectibles. And I think we paid about $98 a box is what Tatis. it averaged out to. Yes, yeah, so there's a hot rookie, Tatis. Uh, Perez Gold out of 2019. I think these boxes are Vasquez. going right now for about 120 roughly. 115 120 Yeah, I think so. This stuff is better than it was in years past, though, just in the terms of the actual quality of what you can kind of get and how often you can pull the stuff. There's more parallels. Everything's a little bit better. So Yeah, there's short prints. Now, if you remember, Jumbos out uh, of Series 1 didn't have short prints. This time they do. Um, the names seem to be a little bit better. There's a relic. Yeah, there's a thick, probably commemorative relic, I'm guessing. That's what I'd guess, too. Zaya Eric Nelson, Santana, Jalen, now we got a Kiermeyer Twins, Windy City Warriors, White Sox, Rockies, yeah, you can That's see the cool, medallion. Yeah. So there's another gold. Yeah. Sororca Gold, Colton Wong, 150th, Josh Hader, uh, Significant Statistics. And our medallion, Jacob DeGrom. It's going to be numbered out of 150 because it's the 150th. Gold, thing's super heavy. That is numbered 14 out of 150. Were they, were they 
They weren't numbered that. They didn't have that in the first uh, in Series 1, right? They Well, they had the ones that you can get the 150 stamp on them. They had those, but they didn't have... I don't think they had that set. Yeah, and they didn't they have, have... They weren't all numbered, the No, the they're, well, these aren't all numbered either. Oh, they're not? The, no, this, the 100... one, this one just has 150 stamp on it, too. Oh, I see. Oh, on the front? Right here. But I'm wondering, though, if that coincides with the no th- it's a, if you look at it it's a parallel it's a parallel okay yep. yeah i haven't looked at the checklist no because it doesn't really detail. make much sense to put another stamp on even though it already says 150 years right exactly parallel. it seems like a little bit of overkill well anyways in this set you can get the usual stuff rainbow foils the gold blacks uh father's day mother's day uh independence day platinum platinum uh camo printing plates and then the auto checklist is quite diverse. There's huge uh, names. and see a good card coming up here. Some not so big names. And there we Take go. Take an old Vlad SP. Not too shabby. Nice. Very good. Those fall, what, a couple of case maybe? Not even a number there. Kind of interesting. But yeah, about. It, I don't know. It depends. Yeah, he is not actually on the numbered checklist. No, it's a short print. Yep. Um, usual and Martinez. Well, it, it is a sharp print-ish kind of. I don't know. It's kind of a weird card, actually. It is a weird card because it's... Yeah, right. It is a short print. It's a short print, but I don't think it's even on a short print checklist either. Well, yeah, and it has no number. So yeah, exactly. it's just a weird card, like you said. All right, last pack on this side of the box here. So I think from what we've read so far, the jumbo boxes are the way to go. Um, last time the hobby boxes were the way to go. There's uh, Kikuchi. Kikuchi. Stewart. So if you're looking to buy something for around a hundred bucks or a little bit more, I'd recommend the jumbo. That's I a like cool that card. card. Otani gets hot. It's a really sweet card. No wait, go back to that card. That's Trout, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Trout and Otani. Kantara. Rowdy Telez rookie. That's not a bad Gold. card. Oh, there's a black behind it. Black Alan Hansen out of 67, 20 out of 67. A rainbow foil. Wow. Of a Jason lot of Castro. Parallels. Faces are of the franchise Scherzer, Guerrero, and Dawson. 150. Buck Farmer. Oh, the pack had a ton of stuff in it. Yeah. And Griffey. Hayward, Ellsbury, Williams, Blandino, Duvall. Yeah, a lot. There's a cool. That Ben Tenney card, sweet. I think what? that was in the playoffs uh, last year. Yeah, and wasn't that? That's been in another set. That picture. no, I don't know if it's been a set, but we have a Topps now card. You might be thinking of that. Oh, maybe, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna open up one of these silver. Oh, I'll knock the other one. Whoa. Out. One of the silver blue packs. Get four cards in these, looking for parallels, autographs, anything like that. Ratty Telez, rookie. Cole Stewart. Josh James. And Kikuchi. Four rookies. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Silver Pack promotion, October 2019. Receive free Chrome cards with the purchase of a baseball update box. All right. Pretty decent half of a box there. All right. So next up, our second half. Looking for one more relic and what other kinds of parallels we can pull. So not bad for the first half, that's for sure. The auto wasn't anything great, but no. Victor Robles, Future Stars. Uh, there's a so obviously the rookie symbols up there for the rookies in this. Reese McGuire, rookie card. Uh, that's a pretty cool looking card. Ben Gamble with that background and then the future stars so these are guys cool. from last year tyler o'neill faria and here's dyson because independence day yeah Steel suit. there's another that's funny doubles um tim hill and a adam conley number 276 46 this is why this out stuff's of 76. Good, in series one, you'd be hard pressed to pull a black or a independent stain. This stuff we got <clears> two. Yeah, and then there's a 150th, and then ballpark evolution, Tiger Stadium. 
The only problem with this proc is it's going to be way harder to get any kind of good veteran parallel or any parallel in general because their good veterans are pretty much not in the set. Oh, right, in, in a parallel, yeah. Yeah. Some of them are, but not all of them. Well, they, I mean, each card is parallels, but the... Right, but the names just aren't yeah, there. Cause yeah, because series two. And Vlad, that's a kind of a cool-looking card. And Vlad and doesn't. Vat, Vlad will not have a parallel. It's just his that base card. Tatis will, but not Yeah, Vlad. Tatis will, yep. Segura, Sanchez, Freeze, Tulitsky, Vasquez, and there's a Luke Voigt. So... All right, that was not a. This has been a good box. I mean, that's a lot of parallels. We got a, a Independence Day, a black, yeah, uh, some golds, some golds, a couple like a lot, three or four rainbow foils too. Yeah, rainbow foils and a Vlad SP. Yeah, I think the Vlads were selling for earlier today around thirty dollars. It's not bad. I don't know that they're still selling. They for that. They definitely won't. Be. They will probably be. I'm guessing more like a ten dollar card. There's fifteen. Yeah. Depends on how common they are. Right. If you only get one a case, it's probably a twenty dollar card. That's a cool one. Strike a pose. Albies uh, and Acuna. Valaika. Oh, this is a cool card. Ichiro. This is gonna be numbered, isn't it? Uh, maybe. No. No, I don't think the nope. blues are. I think the blacks are, but not blues. That's a nice one card. And then a James uh, Talion. This is gold, so numbered to 2019. And then another rainbow foil. And this is a short print, Ryan Sandberg. So down here in the corner, if the camera will pick it up, I think it says 31 there. No, yeah, 430. I can't even read it from the camera. Yeah. You tell me you have better eyes. 431 and the base is going to... 031 and the base is not 031. The base is 0, is 62, I think. I'll confirm that because, uh, yeah. Reggie Jackson. The base is 962. So look for that code. So the short prints are going to be last two numbers 31 and the super short prints are going to be the last two numbers 32. So just keep that in mind when you're looking through your cards. Usually they're going to wind up in the middle of your pack next to all the inserts so or basically i've never seen them or they're not the yeah way. yeah it would be a real flow it's pretty much a waste of time to look through all of your base cards like and check yeah it would it would be that's Just a cool sure looking card the, of the packs they've they've really done a good job on photography i feel like the last it's gotten better if you look at year. the old if you look at the old like like two three years ago it wasn't anywhere close as good as this it's fun just to be able to take a card and actually you know take a look at it because you want to see you know the the picture versus just see the name of the guy um there's nishak patrick wisdom uh pablo reyes wainwright martin hendrix magadan there's uh, too bad dustin pedroia i think his career may be done this is a there's sweet looking sunset. card look at that yeah. sunset new york mets sunset up high down low George Springer and uh, Altuve. And then Milwaukee Menace. Detroit Tigers. Josh James. I like, rookie. You know, I don't think they've done stadium cards in forever. I like those. There's a Pat Nishak gold. And here's one you're just talking the, about. The this black. is black. This is a Kevin Kramer. Oh, 150. Yeah. No, no, you're right. Yeah. 299. 108 of 299. Zach Granke, 150th. And here's another short print. Um, Roberto Alomar. So, wow, these things are loaded. And that's going to be numbered to 31, so it's just a regular short yeah, print. I wouldn't go by the short prints and consider it loaded because the short prints, if you get two in a box, then they're probably not going to be worth anything. Well, true, but you do get, I'm what I'm the saying is loaded compared to what they were in Series 1. They are loaded, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, the the parallels is more what you'd go by because the when you get a bunch of short like remember when they made up oh yeah I know if you're going off right. of short prints you consider that load because you got in every pack but they're not worth most anything. of the short prints only sell for a couple bucks yeah even in years when there's hardly any of them they still only sell for a couple <laughs> look at that, that glove yeah it's a catcher's glove it's yeah it's it's, big. it's uh kind of flared out there there we go there's another good rookie so Pete Alonzo now somebody was saying that. Some of his cards say Pete and some say Peter. Now, I don't know if it's just 
the base cards or if there's inserts or I'm not sure. I would guess. I doubt that it'd be really funky if they changed it in some like it some would be. That would be really, really weird. That'd be very strange, yeah. Looks like we have Where's a relic, relic in here. All right, there's a Telez. Mazara, Font, Zuna, Sororka, Chisenhall, Shaw, or Straw, Chris Archer, uh, Chiswick, Davis, Ranger Stadium, Door, Edwards, and now into the inserts. It's a blue. Jeff Bagwell. Not numbered, but it's a blue. Not numbered. A gold, Nomar There's Mazzara. So many golds in this deck. Yeah, so many golds. Them. Alex Wood, foil. And a Rod Carew, evolution. Team uniform, evolution. Derek Jeter. And behind that, a Miguel Andujar, oh, relic. So they had these in Series 1. I like those. Those are pretty sweet. Yeah, those are pretty nice looking. Uh, yeah, that's the, yeah, the 1984 throwback look. One of the years that I really enjoyed collecting as a kid. I don't remember. We have to look at your 84s again sometime. I don't think you had that many of them. Try to show all the cards. Yeah, and there's an Eloy Jimenez, so rookie. So we got all the key rookies in one jumbo box. Typically, in a jumbo box in the past, you got close to a set. I don't know if that is true you this time got around. Five sets a case. Yep. Normally, and you'd be close to like seven sets. All right, Kyle Wright. So you get a lot of cards. Yeah, you get a lot of cards. Um, and it's a 350 base card set. Man, it's crazy how many golds and parallels there are. That stadium, one of the cool stadiums in baseball. You yeah. inserts, too. Like in Series 1, it was hard. There's only like two inserts a pack. There he is, World Series MVP. Ozzy Elbies. Steel. And here, here's another one, Patrick Wisdom. We got some rookies, too, in this one that are and gold. And vintage stock. Yeah, and vintage this. stock. Wow. These are numbered to, what, 99? Stuff's loaded. So right there, there's a numbering, 91 and 99. Uh, Travis Shaw, 150th, and a Carlton Fisk iconic card. Insert. There must be a lot of inserts in this. Trevor uh, Richards. Well, I think there are, but the other thing is it's almost like back to like where it used to be where you'd get like one of each insert in every pack. Whereas in like Series 1, it was, you remember when we opened up Series 1, yeah, you got like two inserts. It seemed like, right, it was. You got like 15 inserts a box maybe. So Top's kind of doubled up on Series 2, I think. All right, Stassi, Montgomery, Moore, and Get Up. Molina, and Marcel Zuna. All right, so empty box. Let's get to the last pack, the blue or the silver pack. You'll get two of these with each jumbo box. You get one with each hobby box. So if you go into your hobby store, they should give you one if you buy a hobby box and two if you buy a jumbo box. All right, there's a good one, Cody Bellinger. Kobe Allard. Robinson Cano and a blue. I was hoping that'd be Vlad Guerrero. Yeah, Roberto Alomar, not bad. Oh, that little card's back there. So this is going to be numbered to one fifty. That looks sweet. It's a sweet looking card. Didn't he? Did he play on the Expos too? He played. No, he played with he play? the uh, Indians, Indians. I believe. Yeah. yeah, they don't give the I was going to say. I was going to say there's. He. I don't think. I don't remember it being a blue jay, but. Yeah, all right. So there you have it, guys. The first box of the Series 2. Pretty good. good. Almar on 150. And the rest of the Sword Pack cards. Vintage stock on 99. So let's see. We got one, two, three. Gold. Rainbow Foil doesn't really count. Mazara, Gold, Alomar, SB. Uh, Kevin Kramer, Pat Nishek, Italian, Ichiro, Adam Conley, Sororka. Kikuchi, James, Stoll, and Telson, Al Kansen, Telez, Vlad Guerrero, uh, Miguel Andujar, Relic, Jacob DeGrom out of 150, commemorative patch or medallion, Prez, Vasquez, and then Romero. So we got, we got 13 numbered cards is what I counted. 
including the medallion. Oh, I got and and the oh, and yeah. the blue. No, that's thirteen. You're right. Yep. So we got thirteen. Eleven base numbered. Yeah, that's eleven impressive. base. Yeah. So it's over one a pack. That's pretty crazy. I'd say go out and buy a jumbo if you can um, before the prices go up because I have a feeling this is going to be the way to go from what we've seen early on. Uh, Brent and Becca from uh, their eBay sales. They he's on Twitter. Brent Williams, check him out. Uh, he said this is some of the best odds he's seen in a long time in jumbo. So uh, maybe worth. The, you know, jumping on early before the prices rise. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this break. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. We're going to be breaking box number two out of our jumbo case in that one. So stay tuned for the rest of the case. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have fun collecting.